discussion, interviews with Avery and Tola. We got so much to get into on this interview, but first, let me let you guys know wherever you are watching this, make sure that you follow, like, and subscribe. Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, you guys hitting those thumbs up, likes, sharing, commenting below. Those are all great ways to support the show, as is sharing. Tell a friend, tell a family member. You guys are our best little marketers, and we love you guys loving these shows. Of course, make sure that you tweet us your quest tag, your quest tags, or your questions using hashtag YRR live. You can leave them for us over in our Discord or on our Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, that is where we are. Of course, uh, you can visit our website, yourrealityrecaps.com, for the past 10, 12 years of shows. The more current ones are on our YouTube channel. And of course, I know you guys know about our Discord. It is where we have uh, the live watch parties for the East Coast airings of Big Brother Canada. We watch the dailies, we watch movies, we binge, we stream, we watch other shows, usually before everyone else. Um, and uh, Traders, Survivor, Drag Race, all that fun stuff, as well as movies. I already said that. Birthdays, everything is happening over in our Discord, which is completely free. So make sure that you check it out. But look, I know why you guys are here. You want to jump right into it. Let's get right into it with Avery. So Avery, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you? So right off the bat, we need to know, night one, you were the one leading the charge, wanting to get any returning players right out. So what made you decide instead to work with them? Well, you know, I have to say, Spicy V, I have to say she's my favorite player. I knew that if I had the opportunity to work with her, um, I had to. I knew I would regret it down the line. She Really, in her season, she wanted someone that she could trust. She wanted someone to work with. And I knew that I could be that player that she could count on. When she approached me in that hot tub room and kind of, you know, said that she wanted to maybe work together, I knew that it was going to be a great opportunity to work alongside a vet. So I kind of kept that under wraps. You know, people started to ask me, you know, are we still planning to get the vets out? And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, sure. No, no, I don't want to. <laughs> you know, I kept it under wraps. I, I hopefully well enough, but... Spicy V is my favorite player. I knew I would regret not working her with her if I had the chance to. So did meeting Spicy live up to your expectation of her? 100%. You know, when you're watching the show as a viewer, you do think that these people play out their personalities, but Spicy V is authentically herself 100% of the time. And I think that's what made me love her so much. She is just herself all the time. That's what I said I wanted to do going into the house. And it was an honor to play alongside her, and I can't believe we're going to be friends for forever. We really will be. Do you feel that working with Anthony and Spicy helped or hurt your game? I definitely feel like it helped my game, you know, at least getting me this far. Um, I feel like I put a little bit too much trust in Anthony when it came to my game, you know. Um, I put a little bit too much loyalty out there, you know. I said, you know, Anthony, you're loyal to the soil. I'll be loyal to the soil for you as well. Um, I knew that there was going to be some kind of twist coming. Um, obviously it but bit me in the butt near the end. Um, I was being fed information from people who I thought I could trust, but like I said, in the end, it bit me in the butt. I do regret putting Kayla up there. I wish I would have put Lexus or Anthony up next to Tola so we could get Tola out, but you know, everything's said and done now, no regrets. Everything happens for a reason. And I'm still happy to be here. You told Spicy week three that if you had won HOH during jury, that you were going to use your reign to get Anthony out. What changed your mind from that to targeting Kayla? Yeah, I feel like I really wanted to try to get Anthony out of the game, but I knew that if I put Anthony up next to Tola, that uh, Anthony would stay and he would always have that little bit of resentment towards me for putting him up on the block. And if he had a chance to win HOH, he would put me up there. Anthony did come to me and Lexus came to me and told me information that I thought was truthful. Looking back, of course, I don't think it was. I think they were trying to protect their own butts in that game. Obviously, that's what you have to do. But yeah, looking back, that's something that I do regret. I wish I would have taken my shot when I had the chance. So do you think that things would have played out differently this week had you not targeted Kayla last week? For sure, yeah. I definitely think that there's a definite an indefinite amount of roads that we could have taken if I didn't put Kayla up on the block. 
If I put Lexus up there, we would have gone down one road. If I put Anthony up there, it would have been another road. It all comes down to the votes, though. All you can do is HOH, just go off of the information that you've been fed. And then the rest is up to the house guests. I knew that there was a big chance Kayla was going to go home. I knew in my heart Kayla was going to go home. But at the end of the day, it's up for the people to decide. And all I can do is, you know, as HOH, just put the people up there and let, let the house decide. Who would you wanted to have sit next to had you made it to the final two? I would have wanted Spicy right next to me. You know, final two, Havoc Hotties, she was an amazing player. I would have loved to have her alongside me. You know, duke it out honestly and fairly. She plays an amazing social game. She's a good competitor, and I would have loved to sit next to her. Who would you have targeted if you won the next HOH? If I have won the next HOH, I would have put Todd on the block next to Anthony or Lexis. I feel like... Um, once Kayla walked out the door, I did start to notice Anthony and Lexus were being a little more shadier than normal. I did sense some distrust in them. Um, one of them would have been my target with Todd as the pawn. And yeah, I would have tried my best to, you know, tell the rest of the house guests, especially Bailey and Victoria, that um, we need to get these guys out. We can't trust them. And I think they would have followed my lead on that. What criteria are you looking for in the winner? Specifically, what is it going to take to get your vote? I think what it's going to take to get my vote in the end is just thinking about who actually played a good game, who played not so much an honest game, but a really good game, who had my loyalty in the house. Um, I feel like, you know, as a super fan, even though, you know, Tola really did get under my skin, he was an annoying little guy. But I have to say that he's playing a really good game. He has a great social game and um, he's a great competitor. If he's up there next to someone like Anthony or Alexis, I have to give my vote to Tola. He's playing a really good game. But if Spicy's up there, she had my back to the end. I'm going to have hers. So do you think you'll be a bitter juror? I guess we'll see who walks into the jury house. You know, I as a super fan, I really have to you know, take everything into consideration. At the end of the day, you do kind of have to push your emotions down and, you know, be honest with yourself about who played a good game. You're not voting for your bestie, even though I would vote for my bestie. But you're also playing for a good player. I think Spicy's playing a good game, but Tola's playing an amazing game. Okay, is there anything you want people to know about you or your game that they may not know? Ooh... Um, I don't know. I feel like I mentioned it a couple times. I'm really good at puzzles. I actually worked in an escape room for a couple of years. That's one of my secrets that I only told um, Spicy. I just want people to know that I went into that house, my authentic self. I'm the same way I am outside of the house as I am inside of the house. You see me in the streets. Don't be shy. Come say hi. We can take a picture. I love, I would love to meet anybody that's interested in getting to know me. And yeah, it's been a great ride. I'm so blessed to have this opportunity and I'm very proud of myself. I hope Canada's proud. I hope my family's proud. Is there anything you you learned about yourself coming out of this Big Brother experience that you didn't know about yourself before you started playing the game? I think I learned that I can really trust people when they say that um, I can trust them. I'm someone who's really positive. I'm someone that gives everybody a chance. And that really just showed that um, you can put your trust into people and it, it can only go so far. You need that reciprocation in order to 100% and truly trust that person. And I think that's why I put so much trust into Spicy and so much trust into Bailey because they constantly had my back. I also feel like Bailey is the type of player who's being overlooked. She's playing a great game in there and I have to respect that. I really hope that she makes it to final two or final three. I would love to see her there. She deserves it. Where do you want few people to follow you on social media? Ooh, you can follow me on TikTok. I'm on the TikTok, Ave Avenue Ave. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm pretty sure, oh my God, I don't even remember my Instagram handle. It's, it's been months. I've been locked in the Big Brother house. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Hopefully my socials are out there. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ave Avenue. My videos are privatized right now, but as soon as I'm out of this house, they're going to be live. I have great vlogs. Look for me. You'll find me. There's only one of me. I There's only one Avery around. Well, thank you so much for taking time out to speak with us today, Avery. We can't wait to see you back in the real world. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's been great. Bye-bye. See ya.
Well, that about wraps it up with Avery, but again, we need to head over to Tola first, because I know some of you skipped that intro. I just want to again let you know, make sure that you check out our Discord. It's the place where everything is happening for Big Brother Canada shows and everything beyond once this season is over. We binge television shows, we watch movies there, we do all of that fun stuff, celebrate birthdays, play games, we do uh, game nights on Twitch, we brought Jackbox back, which some of you may not know. And of course, what you also may not know is that I'm live every single day around 4 p.m. Eastern over on you now. I do cooking. We watch uh, Big Brother together there now currently. We do holiday things. It's fun. It's family time. It's like Eric live feeds. If you're bored with not having Big Brother live feeds or think that I'm great, you should check that out out. So check out our Discord, check out you now, check out our website for all of the past 10 years of our shows, and of course make sure that you're following us on your favorite social media website. So that being said, I know we are waiting to hear from Tola. So Tola, how are you doing? I'm great, yourself? I'm doing good. So Tola, I gotta ask you if you feel that you were faster, better, and quicker than Todd if you'd be here. <laughs> Ah, I am faster, quicker, and stronger than all the house guests. You know what? Sometimes you, you win some, you lose some, and he, I, I think he won by luck. He didn't win by skill. Come on now. <laughs> um, Tola, let's talk about you and Bailey for a minute. How did you see your relationship with her at the time of your eviction? At the time of my eviction, I felt like we, we were pretty tight, and uh, I was a little upset that I didn't get her vote, but I felt like we did develop a good relationship a tighter bond a trustworthy one but uh unfortunately it didn't happen like that would you have ever considered taking bailey to the final two i would consider taking her to the final two yes i would i definitely i would consider taking her to the final two if anthony was out of the game Okay, what were your initial thoughts going into the double eviction did you feel in danger I felt in danger for sure. Uh, I knew that if I wasn't able to pull off the win with the veto, I was going to go on the block. I called it. I said, listen, this is, uh, I even said, if Victoria wins, I'm going up on the block. So I knew I was in danger. Why did you not campaign to Todd to use the POV on you? Because after the veto, I could tell by people's facial expressions and their body language that he wasn't willing to use it i just looked at him and he couldn't give me a straight answer which is a telltale sign that he was not gonna a vote for me to be in the game and b he was not gonna use the veto and at that point even if i had his vote i mean yeah even if i had his vote i still would have went home and i knew that he wasn't gonna use it because he's being controlled by the other house guests you told arissa you felt todd was whipped but by whom he is whipped by bailey Bailey is controlling his game. Uh, that is my opinion. Uh, Bailey and Spice are both in his ear, and he's not the type of guy that will make his own decision. Uh, and yeah. Do you regret during your HOH not listening to Anthony and taking Spicy out now? I don't regret that because if I take Spicy out now, it wouldn't even matter because then Avery would have just came after me. Avery and Bailey, Avery, Bailey, and, and Spicy were all gunning for me. So whichever way this played out, it still would have been me uh, as number one target as I've always been this entire season. Who do you think Spicy should have nominated and targeted this week? I think Spicy should have nominated uh, Todd and Lexus this week. Why? Because she was running around the house uh, planting seeds about Todd. Uh, she didn't think that he would win the power of veto. Uh, so I was gonna use that as ammo and Lexus, at least I could have saved her. I would have been able to play in the power of veto. I would have saved her, and then she would have had to put up somebody else. And at that point, I would have just pushed for Bailey. You said on night one that you wanted to get the vets out. What made you change your mind and instead start to work with them? Uh, I just sort of agreed with the house guests. I never actually wanted to take them out. I just sort of agreed with the house guests. But uh, in reality, it was, you know what? They have uh, a lot of experience and they have a lot of knowledge of the game. 
And the way I play the game is I'm not taking out weak players right away. I need to cross this ocean on a really strong boat and to build this boat out of good materials. I wanted them in the game. Who do you feel was your closest ally in the game? I feel my closest ally in the game was Anthony. And is that who you would have wanted to sit next to had you made it to final two? Yes, I would have wanted to sit next to Anthony in the final two. Um, who would you have targeted if you stayed and won the next HOH? I would have targeted Victoria and Bailey. And then my backup plan for you... that would have been Todd. Okay. Who do you think is playing the best game and the worst game? And who do you want to win? Uh, playing the best game right now would be Anthony. He doesn't have blood on his hands. He's a loyal guy. Hasn't touched the block. The worst game, I would say, out of them all, Man, it's hard to choose. Maybe uh, it's either Victoria or Lexus. And uh, what was the other question? I don't remember. We'll move on. What 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 criteria are you looking for in a winner? Uh, the winner for me, the criteria are someone who stayed loyal and true to their word, to the people that they were working with. And I understand that betrayals happen in the game. It's part of the game. But I'm really looking forward to how that betray uh, betrayal was uh, executed. Um, specifically, what will it take to get your vote? What's it going to take is someone explaining to me what they've done in this game to help them move forward. And the betrayal that you have made in the game, how was it executed? And was it damaging to other house guests or was it just damaging to you? I really want to know, was it a crappy backstabbing move to be selfish or was it a way where people can just sort of understand where you're coming from? And if as long as everybody can understand your move, then that would have my role. Do you think that you'll be a bitter juror? No, I think I'm going to be, I, I think I'm going to come in hot. Like I'm going to come in hot. I'm a pretty straightforward guy. So I'm going to ask some straightforward questions and uh, that's it. Like it is a game and I understand things happen, but you're going to have to tell me why those things happen. I need a reason. Okay. Is there anything that you wish you had done differently or other people that you wish you would have worked with? I don't think I've done, I would have done anything differently. I think I played the game uh, to the best of my knowledge. I think I've done everything I could do. Uh, obviously I would have probably liked to, uh, playing more competitions. But other than that, no, I think I've done everything I possibly could do because I didn't want to develop relationships with people who were coming against me and those people have to stay on the other side, so. Is there anything you learned about yourself coming out of this experience that you didn't know before you started playing the game? Yeah, I learned that I can be an emotional person. I didn't think, uh, I really didn't think I'd cry on television and there you go, you know, well, my buddy Matthew gets evicted and I didn't really, feel like, you know, I have to let myself go and I have to let my feelings go. And it was something I couldn't really hide. And that is something I do hide normally in the outside world. Um, where do you want people to follow you on social media? I want people to follow me on my IG. It's team underscore loaded. It's the only account. And uh, I don't really have anything else. So team underscore loaded. Give it a follow, follow me, follow my story, follow my journey. And if you guys don't know what Loaded stands for, it stands for living out a dream every day. And that's what I've been doing and that's what I'm doing right now. Some of you guys may notice I do wear my own gear on the show. So yeah, follow me, team underscore Loaded. Well, thank you so much for taking time out to speak with us today, Tola. We can't wait to see you back in the real world. Well, thank you for having me on and it's been a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> well, that about wraps up our uh, double eviction interviews. I hope that you guys like them. Again, I'm not going to bore you. You know the deal. Make sure that you follow, like, and subscribe. Make sure that you share the show. It really is so incredibly helpful. Visit our website. Visit our uh, YouTube. Make sure that you thumbs up, hit that bell while you're there so you get all of our current shows. And check out our Discord. It's completely free. It is the hub of everything 
everything where we watch our TV shows, where we binge movies, birthdays, games, and more. I will see you guys over on you now. I will be live there in a little bit. It's my mother's birthday celebration tonight. You're gonna love it. Think of it as Eric Live Feeds. We cook meals there every night, give recipes, so much more. Check that out. I'm live at least 12 hours a day. So if you like me or want more from the YR family, it's not just me, it's a whole bunch of other people, uh, make sure that you check out all of our other shows. Love you guys so much. Thanks for loving everything that we do, and I'll see you on the next show. Bye for now, everybody. Bye, friends.